that was the answer to the first question. Yes. We know that. Guys, that's it. You know everything? I can ask you questions. I have a lot of questions to ask. In the shir you, you gave a few days ago about how to deal with the air attacks, you went on for about three, five minutes about the Arabs, they're not human, they're not people, they're garbage. You went no, on, no, on no, 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 no. and you said, it's, say. it's, you said it's, it's a Yetzir. You said, we, we Jewish people, we come from light. You can, you can look at the, at the video you, see, you put out. I, well, I suggest that you're going to see it again yeah. to see that I said they and then I said again they and I didn't say Arabs. After it in the end I mentioned one time the word Ishmaelim and also Ishmaelim. between you and me I don't chew on that. I'm telling you my secret. I don't chew on that. But not because, because you don't allow to take an individual and to put it into a certain uh, a, a generalized because, so why? Because for sure, I'm, I know for sure there are Ishmaelim Palestinians that now they live here in Eretz Israel and the thing that they want the most is to have peace with us. Why? Not because they love us so much, also maybe they do, but because they see that through our government and our way of life they can succeed a lot more. They rather to live under the government of Jewish people than to live under the government of Muslim people. That you can see here for sure, you can see thousands of, of Ishmaelim like those. Now here today, Palestinians that live in Eretz Israel, for sure. Why? Because they rather to keep their job in the bank and not to be under the Rashut HaFalestinite. Is it the Rashut HaFalestinite? Palestinian authorities. authorities. They, they know that over there it's all bribes, it's all crimes, it's all criminals, it's all blood and, 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 and the rest of the worst things that can be. So they don't want to be under their government. So, But when I mentioned and I said their children are not children, mm -hmm. their women are not women, and they are not soldiers, I meant about those murderers. I meant about people that can take themselves and go and doing vicious crimes. How a child that is 13 years old can even imagine and think to himself to take a knife with his cousin that is 17 years old and to go and run in the streets of, of Pisgat Zaev and to look for innocent people to stab. I have a kid, Lehavdil, that is also almost 13 years old. He's playing marbles. He's learning for his mar, mar mitzvah. He plays with Lego and Playmobil. He learns a little bit of Gemara. You will never going to take a knife and run and stab people in the streets. Even the worst enemies, he will never, it's, it will never going to cross his mind. That's not a child. That's a demon. That's an evil ghost that takes a knife and goes to stab people. And if he's 17 years old, so he's also a demon, he's vicious, he's from the army of the Satan, of the devil. There's no doubt about it. The tshuva, the regret that I had on the words that I said in that class was only on generalization, on that. Because even if we as a nation going to come to that decision and now the state going to follow and, and, and keep that and the army going to follow those uh, 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 obeys and rules and the, and the, and the police and we're going to decide to take away even all of the, the Palestinians out of Eretz Israel. Let's say that decision been took now by the Israeli government, okay? You're all refugees, you all go look for your own new houses in Syria, in Jordan, in Egypt. Uh, Daesh is going to take care of you. No matter what's going to happen, if we're going to take that decision, we're not going to do that, we're not going to do that like the, if they would do that to us. We were never going to do that like the Nazis done that to us. Not like the Spanish nation done that to us. Not like the Italian nation done that to us. Not like the British nation done that to us. And not like the, the American nation is... They have that plan in the drawer what to do one day, how to get rid of the... Minorities. Minorities, what to do with them if one day they will not gonna 
cooperate enough to the government. So we were never going to do that. Even if we will decide to take that decision to excommunicate them from our territory, from our homeland, and we're going to take that decision, even then we're going to have a lot of Derech Eretz. And we're going to suffer a lot from our Derech Eretz. And we're going to have a lot of people that are going to be hurt because we're going to be too polite and too nice and too kind while doing that. And even today, you can see soldiers that are running and fighting and they're stopping to help a little girl and to give her food and to help her to not to cross the line of fire. And, and they're arguing and talking to those Ishmaelim that are coming and fighting with them. And the, Go and see what, the, what the Ishmaelim are doing between each other in Syria, between brothers over there, and they're harvesting each other, slaughtering each other. 3,000 in a day, Dash are going and, and slaughtering another group and another village and another... They don't care, couldn't care less about their own blood. And we are terrified not to spill one drop of blood of, of, of a person that is our enemy.